Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is our repository in which we are going to work on. This is the microservices and all the, the further codes I'm going to push on to this repository. So the last uh, two videos we were writing Express Generator app and the TypeScript Generator app also I have posted here and all the future apps which we are going to build which is going to be uh, building the APIs, building a simple authentication API using Express and then Express TypeScript with the MongoDB. So what I'm going to do? In the last video we have just only talked about generators, Express Generator and Express TypeScript Generator and we were just running the application, we didn't write any code. Now we are going to build the APIs and then we are going to use this monorepo concept. So we can have the applications in the monorepo and inside the applications we are going to put everything together. Okay, I need to make it transparent. So here we can put all these applications inside apps for the monorepo. Currently we don't have packages. So we will also try to understand what is this monorepo, how we can manage the multiple projects in a single monorepo. Before that we will be exploring, okay, building the API using Express JavaScript. Okay, we will be writing some code testing the APIs and in another video we will be writing express TypeScript with the MongoDB and we are going to use all different fundamental uh, principles of building an API. Still we are not talking about 12 factor principles. After this is done, then we will, then we will be writing one uh, simple nest.js RESTful API. Once we are done, we, we will understand how we will understand how we are building the APIs, how to add the routes, controller services in the Nest.js, how we are building the APIs in simple Express apps, Express TypeScript. Once we have an understanding, then we will try to understand how we can make it production ready. Like all the, the required things of logging, containerizations, deployment, all those things we will start adding. Because I'm covering this playlist from the ground zero. So people often get confused when I just copy the code from here and there and start with the bootstrap. So here in this playlist, I'm talking the basics first, like Express app, Express TypeScript app, then Nest.js baseline app, which contains the Nest.js. I'm not going to talk about Nest.js, how the Nest.js APIs are built, how the Express TypeScript APIs are built, but we are talking about how to structure them. What are the best ways of building them? Okay. So in the next coming videos, we will be building a simple Express Express TypeScript authentication application with a MongoDB and there is already, I think, applications, containers is already there. So this repository will be useful in understanding all the concepts of uh, monorepo, how we are managing the applications, packages and how the common external dependencies, common dependencies across all the packages are managed at the root packages and you can see here commit lint, uh, eslint, uh, husky, jest, prettier, tsjs, typescript these are common dependencies I moved to the top of the uh, I mean the to the root of the project and this whole monorepo setup is nothing but nx with pnpm workspace so we can have uh, multiple packages multiple applications inside it so that also we will be talking about what is monorepo and how this PNPM workspace is helping us. So here I'm saying, okay, whatever is defined inside packages, in the packages directory, will be a part of PNPM workspace. So the, the, the main advantage of uh, this monorepo concept is, let's say you write up an application here or a package here. Here I'm writing another package. And the package name is let's say utility package. I can just call it as a dev logger, right? This is the local package I built uh, inside this monorepo. How can you use these without even publishing this package? Because in JavaScript world, you can build a reusable packages and you can publish them. But here in this monorepo, which is a PNPM workspace, I can just add the dependency of this package something like this inside a package JSON obviously dev logger and you can even specify the package version and I can just simply say is this and you can start using this logger 
package inside your application. So how cool is this without even publishing a package, I can start using them locally in my workspace. So that's the, the beauty of uh, Monorepo. Here you can externalize all the common configurations. Let's say I have a dev logger and then uh, I have dev config here. There is another package I have created for dev database. And then whatever the services you are building, you can just add these dependencies in the respective service because these are common external packages which can be used in any of the service. And you can just link them locally like this. Okay, so let's start our journey. Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my brand new playlist. Currently, I'm covering lots of full stack application and this uh, playlist is generic playlist where I'm going to cover the modern stacks like uh, mean stack, mon stack and just building a simple auth APIs in Express or building a simple uh, production ready a, uh, APIs in Express using TypeScript and using MongoDB. DB. So these will be the individual videos. So first I'm going to start with the basic, let's say we are just going to make a quick and dirty simple auth APIs in Express, then we will introduce a TypeScript on top of that, then we will make a production ready Express uh, APIs, Express TypeScript APIs, and then we will move with uh, any particular uh, mean and mon stack. I mean, I mean, you might see thousands of the videos over flooding with these stacks. I will not talk much about it. But I will be using uh, a monorepo, NX and PNP workspaces to build the modern stack. So either you are using just a React TypeScript and Express TypeScript or NestJS TypeScript. We'll be using the monorepo for building the end-to-end -end full stack application. So my first three and four end-to-end uh, -end videos will be talking about individual stacks. Okay, how to build the modern apps using Express quick and dirty. Then we will just add a simple authentication like building a simple auth APIs and using express TypeScript, then we will introduce up some more concepts of the express like we will build a production ready uh, express TypeScript application with the MongoDB and then we will talk about some full stack clone apps which where there we will be using uh, next year's Prisma, TRPC, uh, Tailwind and all because that is the end goal to use the modern stack and we will also cover one uh, modern stack application which can be simple e-commerce or a simple application which covers all the aspects of the express typescript and if you are writing components in the react or next.js then next.js typescript all those things we are going to cover so i mean if you check out my channel then most of these things are in the next.js i mean i used to talk about express back in those days but i think the audience for express.js is also huge and I should cover something on the Express GS, not each and every service I need to build in uh, Nest GS. I still love Nest GS and will be loving Nest GS for future years. And I've, I'm already building the clone like uh, Booking clone, uh, Swiggy clone and Uber Eats clone already halfway done. Booking clone I'm using, Airbnb clone I'm going to publish. So these clone applications that I'm just using end-to-end Nest.js and all these uh, different stacks. Nest.js with the TypeScript and then Next.js. So I'm talking about NEST for the APIs, NEXT for the component development, SSR, right? So don't get confused in Next and Nest.js, okay? Nest.js is a Node.js framework for building the APIs. Similarly, we have Express.js, which is like, okay, vanilla framework most popular also nest js is also built on top of express so we'll talk about express js first like building just a simple uh, quick and dirty auth apis then we'll add a typescript on top of that okay and then we will talk about how we can build a production ready application so this is initially three four videos uh, i'm going to create uh, for building our technology stack and then we will talk about okay let's roll out uh, these workspaces and the monorepo and then add one node.js express uh, typescript app apis and then add uh, next.js uh, another application okay so let's get started what i'm going to do i'm going to first talk about simple barebone express app so what you need is i'm going to build a quick and dirty so i will just have a server.js and some database connection and i'm going to write some auth routes i will be using json json web token to just generate a token uh, on, on the user login so let's do that
okay so we are going to work on these three apis express.js uh, with simple quick and dirty auth typescript mongo typescript mongo with production ready microservice okay because people often ask they want to build a microservice what should they proceed i mean microservice can be just a simple interface either exposing rest a graphql interface or a different set of microservice which is listening for some particular events not just dealing with the synchronous requests coming in form of rest apis or graphql apis and here i'm using express so that's uh, the advantage for lots of developers because initially people mostly learn express with mongo and typescript okay and i'm going to build all these things with the simple monorepo because i need to build these three applications and then further we will keep extending extending this example so i'm going to use pnpm and nx so if you are following my any earlier tutorials then i'm using this thing on almost all my projects because i like it why because i can manage all the dependencies if i need to link any so this is the monorepo concept if you are a beginner if and if you don't want to learn what is monorepo and annex you can skip it you, because we are going to work only in a particular folder that folder is your express app which you are running okay this pnpm annex is just to manage some kind of a common dependencies into a reusable packages and to keep all my applications into single single app directory so i can extend some of the examples and can talk about uh, more and more services more and more microservices which are built with express js okay so this is our simple setup uh, we are going to create a simple pnpm workspace i will also talk about how you can baseline a simple workspace and then how you can add a mono report things okay like what all configurations uh, prettier eslint and then how you can keep adding the different applications because this simple mono repo is a simple workspace that will have a two things one is the app directory inside this we are going to have all our express applications and then we will have a packages there i'm going to put any custom reusable utility packages which i can use across all the different uh, services we are writing like uh, mongodb database connections right this can be a simple package any utility you are writing on a mongodb uh, we can put that inside a reusable package that can be used across all the services so i will not go into the advanced stuff for now because this uh, playlist is only talking about the basics so let's talk about let's baseline the repository i will share the repository link and then we'll start building the express js simple auth api so this is the repository we have created i will just do the create repository and then we'll just initialize one readme file for this i mean changes to the main and here is our repository so this you can follow here we will first initialize our pnpm workspace okay and then we will start adding our express applications okay so let's talk about the workspace first because i don't want to make this uh, these sessions uh, complex or advanced because initially we will be talking about very basic things okay how do you create express apis currently like you will just create a folder in your system and you will just start creating package json and then your app src and then your tests and all those folders you will create and then then let's say you also want to create it as a full stack app so what you will do in that case here you will create a package json for the react app this is a node.js right and then this is your react app what you will do you will create two folders in the root you will create one folder full stack app and then this is how you will do you will create a one folder named as a full stack okay and you will create these two directories inside it they will have their own package JSONs. they will be running in their own ecosystem and you will be duplicating all the lot of dependencies like because these are the two different apps so you need a eslint eslint prettier and some uh, configurations commit lint prettier i mean uh, there are many dependencies uh, some dependencies which checks the node.js version fbgs script and uh, uh, commit lint commit conventions all those dependencies are like common which you want to have at a root because 
what what currently you are doing you have a two totally separate projects they they don't have any link so instead of doing it like this what i can do i can put common dependencies in my root workspace so here this is my root package json Okay, root package JSON will have all the dependencies which are common in both the projects because we are writing React TypeScript, Node.js TypeScript, some there are so com common TypeScript dependencies, ESLint, ESLint, Prettier, lots of things can be common that I can put at the root package JSON and then inside that I will have in the root directory I, I can have apps. They can have both the projects, okay, API app and UI app and similarly there is an advantage you are getting is you can also create a packages folder which can be reused by node.js or react you might have heard about or used uh, this packages concept npm packages let's say i wanted to use the day.js package in both the application day.js is provide date and time both, this is a common package i can put this in the root and there are some libraries which you want to build like there is a there is a typings library i wanted to create typings is like a common typings typescript typings for the entities like let's say i'm building a simple food order app right so i will be have a restaurant entity restaurant menu entities so these are like interface and enums you are creating those are common that can be used in the react typescript also and in the node.js typescript also so i can create a packages inside this root i can create a packages these packages are those packages which you are not publishing to the npm or uh, gitlab gitlab or github repository but locally you can link you can you can use those packages in the node.js app in this node.js app or in this react app that is the advantage of creating a workspace that you can share these packages across different uh, folders in the workspace without even publishing this so this package is talking about okay utility let's say utility some common javascript utilities you have placed inside this it has its own uh, ts config build configurations and all and let's say you have created any uh, react component react ui library right and you also have another application which is next.js next.js also wants to use this react ui library so you can put this in the package now all the other applications which you are going to have inside this workspace can use it so this is the advantage without even publishing you will be using this so this whole become a workspace and you will have a root package json and some, some root configuration eslint uh, eslint rc prettier rc root package json and this become your workspace this is how you will be using it right and this is how we will be creating it and you will be just watching it how to create how to baseline a simple uh, monorepo and then we will add these node.js api apps in our uh, project okay so let's baseline our code this is our simple folder and here we are talking about pnpm workspace all right so i will just use these reference to create a simple baseline uh, project this is how you need to create a pnpm workspace.yml and here we are saying this okay my workspace will contain apps and the packages so i will create two directories apps and packages okay and i will copy this thing so what this contains this is saying that inside this workspace we have these two folders okay packages and apps these two are considered as a part of a pnpm workspace okay and uh, this is simple workspace we are creating now we can add a simple package json because we are initializing at the root also then we need to have a package json so i will go here first of all get in it it is repository is initialized and i can just simply do is pnpm in it it will give me a simple package json so that package json contains okay what is the the project name here we will start adding the dependencies okay apart from that uh, what other information we need uh, we need to install all the common packages which we are going to add inside this so this apps folder we will be creating uh, api app let's say i will just name it as express auth 
uh, express their sort APIs. Okay, another full project I will be creating here is express uh, TypeScript API. And then the, the, the third application we are going to create is express TypeScript Mongo APIs. I mean, you can say production ready. And these are the three different applications we are going to build. Apart from that, we might need a Docker Compose because in some projects we need a MongoDB access to persist the data. Okay. So we need that. And I will just create a readme.md. And let's see what are common configurations which we need to put at the root. So coming back here, let's try to see what all dependencies which we may need at the root, which are common across all the projects. So I can think of ESLint plugins. Right, there are different modules, ESLint config prettier, ESLint config uh, uh, plugins which we need and then prettier RC, prettier and TypeScript, all the packages. I'm just trying to add TypeScript because we are writing a new TypeScript in some projects. Currently, this is the mix of TypeScript and JavaScript. First, we will write a simple JavaScript express app and then we will use uh, TypeScript. Commit lint to add a commit conventions on our GitHub messages and ESLint Husky. What other configuration? TS Jest and Jest. So these are the, the plug the modules which we need. And this on top of this workspace, we are going to add a monorepo tool, NX. So we'll add an NX dependency. So these are uh, some of the dependencies which we need. So I will just install them at the root package JSON and then we will create a different express application. So these are some of the common dependencies which we need at the root of the project. So here I will try to show you what all dependencies we are adding at the root of the project. So we are already in this. So npm install. And these dependencies all will be dev dependencies. Because here we are not writing application. Here we are doing the some running some tests, running some running some prettier, lint or commit conventions, all those things are there, right? So what I can do is npm add. Okay, uh commit lint CLI. This is the first dependency then. We have lots of these dependencies, right? E ESLint, Prettier, Jest, Husky, and uh, we'll keep adding the other dependencies. Okay, we are adding it to the root because we are adding that to the workspace. So it will add all these dependencies to the root. And then what I will do is rest all dependencies are same ESLint config prettier, ESLint config, ESLint plugin prettier, just okay. Here, if you see our package JSON, I will just move them to the dev dependencies. I think this would be a command to add them to the dev dependencies. And rest all other dependencies, what all we need. We need TypeScript, TSJS, right? I will add them and then I will add the pnpm install. Okay, then we have ESLint dependencies related to Prettier. So I will just pair this up with this ESLint config Prettier. And some dependencies for the commit convention, commit gen that I will add here. And then TypeScript, uh, TypeScript ESLint plugins. Okay, that I can add here. So this is like a simple setup we have done. Then there are other, other dependencies. I think Husky we already have. FBGS scripts to determine the Node.js version to allow and no, not allow a particular versions like lower versions. We can we can just prevent them. Okay, this is our package JSON. So I wanted to install them. So I will do is a pnpm install. 
I just, I, I mean, I'm using these for each and every project. So I just added them. This is for commit conventions. This is for the TypeScript ESLint plugins because we are using TypeScript ESLint and then we are using Prettier. So ESLint will install a Prettier plugin, right? And these are the TypeScript ESLint plugins. Based on what you are writing, either you are writing a, let's say Svelte, Next or Prettier. ESLint plugins, you need to add ESLint plugin Svelte 3, ESLint plugin Prettier, ESLint config Prettier. So these are the dependencies which depends on what you are doing because ESLint needs to uh, publish its uh, uh, plugin based on what you are writing and here we can add ESLint RC. So what is ESLint RC in enforce ESLint on your project right similarly there is another file dot prettier RC okay which enforce the prettier configuration so when you do npm run prettier write it should be able to format the content and then there is a commit config this config is using this uh, commit, uh, commit lint con convention so i will talk about this what this is commit lint i mean it lints the commit messages and you can see here this is how we install this commit lint conventions and i mean it is helping us to write the proper commit messages with hooks okay and then uh, we have so this is the commit config and same i need to update in the package json commit gen Okay, then uh, we have all these things added here. What else we need? ESLint RC. Now ESLint RC, I will just use the standard ESLint RC for the TypeScript based projects. I mean, I can write it, but there is no point of write it, uh, writing this. You can just copy it from your existing project or if you have strict rules, these are some of the rules which you want to apply on your project. Like TypeScript, no empty functions, no unused variables no unknown property no console logs if you put uh, zero is i think zero is allowing you if you put uh, off means you are disabling this particular rule i mean it will not throw any error no use before defining if you try to use a variable without defining the classes functions and variables it will throw an error when you are running eslint okay so this is just like a simple ESLint config and it is using all these plugins you see ESLint TypeScript plugin that we have added you know in our package JSON ESLint plugin ESLint plugin parser all those will be needed for the ESLint okay prettier RC this is the prettier so when you run npm run prettier it is going to enforce single quotes false trailing commas uh, ES5 so i can talk about this prettier prettier is actually a, a module which is defined install prettier how to install it just uh, we are creating prettier.json or just prettier rc and inside that you will define the rules okay so here are the rules prettier and linter so sometimes people get confused why we need a prettier when we already have an eslint prettier enforce the formatting styles eslint enforce the coding syntax style okay right like function conventions naming conventions how the switch or if else loops would work how we are declaring a redeclaring a variables prettier just enforcing okay double quotes single quotes uh, naming and formatting and indentation basically that okay uh what is prettier and prettier is common and everywhere it is being used for typescript okay uh so for typescript there is a prettier configurations we can use okay we are setting it up in the vs code you can also add a pre-commit hook so for that we are going to use husky so whenever you do the commit this husky will try to run this prettier on our code base so that we will know okay these particular files are not following the uh, prettier co conventions of uh, using commas variable namings and all okay so we have this is our simple prettier 
prettier ignore means these files we need to ignore while running a prettier similarly there is a eslint ignore these files we need to ignore when you are running a eslint dist build node modules okay and then just config because at the root we are going to have a uh, common just file that is just a default just config because just is a test runner for running the test against your test which, which you have written so these are some of the configurations you can also add a docker compose yml why i need it because i need to create a mongodb container right for my uh, node.js application so i will just add a definition there this is my apps these are my packages so inside packages you can create a utility okay and then i can just create another packages db db can also be a package here you are initializing the database and all and then oh we missed the git ignore that's why it is showing 10,000 commits files okay there are only 12 files that's good now so we have configured almost everything now we can also enable husky so npm let me see the package json we are using husky and then inside our script we need to add a prepare statement so we can prepare the husky setup npm run prepare so it is using husky and you can see the husky git hook installed here i got the husky folder but it is just like a default we need to have a three different uh, hooks but what, what is a husky if you try to google it what is the use it's like a git hook made easy so sometimes when you want to commit you want it to run lots of commands like build should be executed or prettier should be should run when you create a commit so even before you add the files to the stage or you do add a commit for those staged files before that i need to run this formatter like prettier i need to run you can run eslint you can run the build command all these can be hook attached to the husky okay so what do we have is inside dot husky file we can create a pre-commit file pre-commit and these are the different uh, hooks you can create so what i will do is inside husky i will create uh, some of my hooks so here is our husky i got husky.js so here i will add some of the pre-commit hooks so inside husky i can create a new file which is commit message and what this uh, husky will do is it will use the husky.sh and it will run this commit lint so it will just initialize this commit lint and then pre-commit and prepare commit message these are the two other hooks you can add pre-commit and prepare commit so it will it is running a lint npm run prettier right and it is prepare commit message so this is how it is using the it is preparing the commit message like it will give you the options is it a feature it is a bug fix or enhancement all those things so if you try to do it npm run first we need to add a prettier script on our application so we are using prettier right so i will just go to package json and this is how i can add simple prettier configuration okay why it is complaining so this is prettier and prettier right I will try to explain this what this command is doing so it is running just a, you can see it is running this prettier uh, sh file and running these checks against all these files so npm run prettier so you can see it is checking the formatting of all these files for go to run the prettier so what i will do is i will do prettier right So it will try to update the files by adding the formatting here now we should not see any warning all matched files using prettier code style okay so this is how you can enable the prettier you can also add a lint i mean that is fine i guess lint is also same as a bin prettier you don't need it you can skip it so here we have our basic setup 
now inside these applications we can create our express app at the root we have i think lots of things type script node modules and all so it's a pnpm workspace right here you can see the node modules right these are like a global dependencies which you have now what you can do is you can uh, have your own package json for these applications and if there is a common dependencies then those dependencies will be sim linked and will be used from the root package root dot modules because those dependencies will be created using sim link from the root package json root node modules so that is the advantage this is how the this pnpm workspace maintains the sim link of uh, the the root workspace dependency and the the dependencies which you are installing at the app or the packages so this is application these are the packages and we are good to go now so this is like a simple baseline we have we have added eslint rc prettier rc commit conventions and if i just now how this commit hooks are working so if i do git commit minus m now hooks should execute you can see these uh, formatting hooks has been executed and i will do is a git add and i will run this command again so it is checking the formatting and it is giving me these options so who is doing it this is happening through the com conventional uh, commit i mean these are the dependencies which we are using and that is happening through these hooks because when you do the commit these hooks are getting executed and commit message because here it is using commit lint to allow us to give us this options okay what you want to enable like it's a new feature refactor i think it's just like a baseline for us that's it now you can just post the developer branch okay so this is a simple baseline for building the production ready uh, services and some demos which we are going to talk in context of node.js and express so see you in the next video there we are going to create a, with a create a simple node.js auth without using typescript because we are first we are going to write a quick and dirty then we are going to make it clean by adding the typescript and all the simplified folder structure adding security to the apis managing the configurations managing the middlewares all the building blocks of express we will do it in the right way